Well, you're listening to Meeting House here on Faith Radio, and after the Atlanta red carpet screening of War Room, Michael Jr. Yeah. hanging out here a little bit after the yeah. film, yeah. and it's it's great to see you. People know you, I guess, as a comedian more than anything else. How did you? How, what attracted you to this particular movie role? Because I understand is this your is this your first movie role ever? Well, I was in a movie before, but what happened was uh, I was. Uh, actually in the theater and someone was making a bootleg film and I walked by so I was in that <laughs> so that movie. was it okay so yeah. that was the film yeah. they other did. than that this was the one yeah so and I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm glad that they first of all to even think about a, a Christian film and then to have the thought to hey let's make sure there's some funny in it is really really smart and then the fact that we were able to pull it off was really kind of I'm just blessed that we were able to pull it off I feel like we did a, a good job like the, the it's not a comedy by any means it's a really good film and it has some funny stuff that happens in it. Yeah, and you've got, you know, you've got this knack, uh, obviously with, with the timing and delivery, and, and you're able to really drive home some truth, but to do it with the comedy and, and then to drive the point home. It's very well done. Yeah, um, well, that's what we wanted to do. I, I just felt like Tony, the main character, me as his best friend, that I need to bring some real accountability and just be who I really would be in real life. Like, I think accountability for men is important, and I also think it's important that we laugh and have a good time, because who wants to hang around somebody who's not, who's not fun? Like real friends, kick it, laugh, and do stuff like that, so that's what we did in the film. Well, something that, and, and you touched on it in a Q&A session after the film, but I, I think it's very intriguing. Here you have Alex and, and Stephen Kendrick. Mm -hmm. They're making a film, and they've always been sensitive with respect to the diversity of yeah, the cast. Absolutely. Here they are making a film yeah. that has the lead actors across the board are all African American. Talk about the significance of that. You, you mean I'm black? <laughs> just, yeah, just, just an observation. Oh, okay, I'm black. <laughs> hey, what's up then? No, I, I, um, you know what's so cool, and I don't know if they've mentioned this in any interviews at all, but they, these guys really pray, first of all. But they really felt like, the, for whatever reason, that the, the characters had to be black people. But now when you watch the film, you can clearly see why that needed to happen because there's so much emotion. It's, a lot, it's, very, it's very physical and, you know, let's just be real. That's how black people get down, especially when they're excited, when they're depressed. I mean, that's what happens in this film. It needed that. There was, of course, it's not all black people. It's not like we're shooting a... It's not all black, there's white people in it, so we let you guys have something. But other than that, it's all black people. That's my phone, I'm sorry. Let me fix that, because it's gonna be annoying <laughs> for a moment. There we go. Okay, our keys. Good answer, right, so. Wesley, yeah. Yeah, so go, go ahead. Yeah. I just feel like it was really, really important to make sure um, that people see, first of all, everybody should see this movie. Like if you haven't seen the movie, you should see the movie. It's actually, it's not just, it's not a good Christian film, it's a good film, let me say that. Well, and tell me, as you read the script, as you saw the storyline, you've turned down film roles before. There was obviously something that resonated for you with this particular film. Well, even in comedy, I always want to do comedy that will um, ideally leave my audience with something more and than just, you know, they always say laughter opens up the heart. Well, if I'm going to open up the heart, I really would like to at least try to make a deposit. So if I'm gonna do a movie, I it would be awesome. It would be bonus on top of it if I could and somehow make a deposit. And this, I feel like this film is gonna make a positive deposit into everybody who watches it. So it wasn't, it was a, it was an easy yes when they called me up to do it. Describe the experience on the set. What are some of your, your most memorable observations? I just love the fact that it was just like, when we're on the set, it was just like a bunch of friends hanging out. I've been on movie sets before where, um, people were actually afraid to move. They were afraid to, to like people were, if the, anyone was late getting to where they needed to be, there was a guy and his job was literally to yell as loud as he could, like that was his job. I don't know if his name was Yell Man, I don't know what he did, but I get to this set and people are literally just enjoying each other. Like they're literally just having fun, kicking it, and then someone would say action. And you'd be like, hey, they're started. It was fun, like it was just a really, it felt like family and friends sitting around eating some catered food and they had some really cool iPhone cameras. <laughs> All right, tell me about what you see as the, the message, what you would want people to take away. 
from this film? Prayer works. Like, that's what you should, you should take away. Prayer works. And then a ticket stub would be great, too, if you did that. But prayer actually works. This is a visual representation of what prayer can actually do. I mean, it, it, we don't have that currently, but this is a visual representation that puts everyone on the same page. Because if you tell me a story of what happened when you prayed, all I can do is fill in the color of what I think happened when you prayed. But this is a film that shows mm. everyone what can happen. And then, trust me when I say, God can do exceedingly and abundantly more than even that. So I'm pumped about it. I'm excited. You're going to, I think you'll be inspired to pray. And then you'll get some results. And then that'll inspire you even more. Awesome. Michael Jr. joining us. That's What's next you. for you? Oh, I'm going to go get some snacks. All I got right. some snacks Sounds over good. there. Appreciate um, it. And I have a... <laughs> <laughs> I have, a, uh, I have a series that we just did right now called Break Time on, uh, on YouTube every Wednesday. It's really cool, really funny. It's from my stand-up comedy. Uh, we take some bits out and we show me to interact with the audience so people can see that. If you just Google Michael Jr., some cool stuff is going to jump up. All right, very cool. Thank you. Michael Jr. from War Room, thanks. Absolutely. Gracias, muchos. That's backwards, I know. It's fun that way. <laughs>